All right, guys. So you're teaching something. Yeah, I'm discussing about mechanical and non-mechanical things. Oh my God, so, that is little hi-fi. So I am here to talk about something basic, more okay. basic, which you might have experienced already. He is Subbu, by the way. So he's six feet taller. So now the question is, have you ninth. ever? This is ninth class. Ninth class. Mm. Yes. So have you ever observed that when you look, try to look through the paper. Paper is opaque, but when paper is soaked with oil. Does it become transparent? Yeah. Translucent. Translucent is the word. Now, how does it happen? Think over it. What makes it translucent? Oil makes it translucent. When you dip the paper on the oil, it becomes translucent. How? Okay, now basically, I think. So she has a first logic. Tell. I'm not sure, but I think maybe when you moisten the paper, like it gets thinner than it already is. All right. Then see through it. All right. So this is the logic. Now going by this logic, if I soak the paper in water, will it become transparent? What do you think? No. You can still see through. It becomes translucent when you put it in water. Yes. Oil works better or not? Yeah. Oil, is oil is lot better, lot better. Yeah. Now, ha, so he has another logic. Tell me. Tell me. No, I, I don't no, he, no, no, no. no. I just. I think it's okay. Tell. Uh, maybe because the density, like the oil is less denser than water, hence due to that, maybe that could have made it more transparent. Okay, so he is saying that because oil is less denser than the water, that's why it makes it transparent. He's closer to the logic, but still very far actually. Anybody else? Anybody else? Now, Ajay, tell me one thing: the paper when which you have, does it have pores or it is like complete without pores? It has pores. It has pores. It has pores. So, if you have to see an object, what should happen? Light from the object should travel. Should come from the object and reach your eyes? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. So, pores are there. But earlier, the light was not able to come through the pores to your eyes. The reason is? The pores were small, oil were closed. They were small. Okay, well, one is this small, other is? All the oil inside the pores reflect the light. Okay, no, not the oil, without oil. If oil is not there, the light is not able to reach. Have you heard about? Have you heard about the scattering of the light? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, what it is? Scattering means what? Tindle effect. Tindle effect. I mean, how does it happen? What is the particles? Particles come in the path of light, hmm. due to which light gets scattered in various directions. Okay. What else? I mean, is he correct? All of you agree? The sun's particles are the same size as the light waves. Wavelength. 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 So basically, what happens? The pores are there, but there are these fibers which absorb the light and then emit the light. That is scattering, and when it emits it, it emits in all directions. So you're not able to see through properly. But when you soak the oil, oil has similar refractive index as that of the paper. That is point number one. And second, when the light comes through the pores, now it has to cross the oil, and it blocks that finer elements which could scatter the light, and hence scattering is stopped. And the light is able to transmit through the pores much easily now. Have you understood? Oh, yeah. right. Thanks for participating.